Hey guys, are you ready for something on your calendar that you actually are going to look forward to? <laughs> well, wait no longer. Okay. We have our upcoming Reclaiming the Wild Men's Retreat, and it's going to be amazing. It's going to happen on April 26th through 28th at Abundant Blessings Farm in STEM, North Carolina. Now, we know a lot of you guys out there need to disconnect from that digital world that is pulling us down, and you need to spend some time with some like minded brothers in Christ. This is where it's at. This retreat is all about faith, fellowship, and fun with an emphasis on the fun. So here's what we're going to have here. We have skeet shooting, horseback riding, archery, hiking, fishing, scripture, cornhole, bonfires. Oh, man. We're going to have some amazing meals. We're going to be camping under the stars. And to cap it all off, we have a great church by the pond service that Sunday morning. It's going to be incredible. So you're going to have an opportunity to forge some really good friendships, reignite some passion that's been, been lost and really lean in to become the man God intends you to be. So we have limited spots for this. So head over to thelionwithin.us slash events, okay? That's thelionwithin.us slash events. And I don't want you to miss this opportunity to reclaim the wild within you. Because today, you have an opportunity to really lean in and have an experience of unforgettable growth, friendship, and don't forget the adventure. All right. Well, I can't wait to see you again. It's April 26th through 28th at Abundant Blessings Farm in STEM, North Carolina. So head over to the lionwithin.us slash events and reserve your spot today. Welcome to The Lion Within Us, a podcast serving Christian men who are hungry to be the leaders God intends you to be. I'm your host, Chris Granger. Let's jump in. All right, fellas, it is fun Friday time. I'm excited to be here. I hope you're excited as well. We're going to get right into it, okay? So let's look out the gate at our scripture of the week. So it's in the book of Proverbs, chapter 18, verse 14. It says, a man's spirit will endure sickness, but a crushed spirit, who can bear? And I'm here to tell you, you're not going to be able to bear this by yourself. Go back, listen to the spiritual kickoff. I really unpack that scripture at length to give you some insight, some wisdom to help understand how you can endure that spirit, how you can heal. And that led us into this conversation with Christopher Cook this week. And if you missed that one, <laughs> you know, I say this every week, the guests are always awesome, but Christopher was incredible. He was incredible. And he reminded us that that transformation that he speaks about, because he's not about self-help. There's plenty of self-help stuff out there. You just go to any Barnes & Noble out there, you're going to be inundated in self-help books. Everybody has their five ways or 10 ways or 100 ways, whatever it is, to a better you or to better what. I'm just telling you, whatever, man. It's transformation is what we need. We don't, we don't need a coach. We need a savior. Bottom line. You can take that to the bank. I know that ruffles a lot of people's feathers, but you know what? I'm just speaking the truth. And that transformation, that's daily. Daily. It begins with knowing who we are. And you have to know your identity. Which leads to your purpose, to your function, to, to your responsibilities. All these things that Christopher talked about. He unpacked a tremendous amount of truth. So I'm hoping you got some good feedback from that. Hopefully you got some practical ideas to apply to your life. Because, guys, that's what it's all about. That's why I, I pressed him. Give us some insights. Give us, okay, it's great that, that we have this, this, uh, this decision part. What can we do? What does that look like? And he gave us some great insight there. So, fellas, go check it out and be sure to get a copy of his book. Support Christopher. He's a good dude. Uh, out of, even though he's out of Detroit, and Detroit Lions, hey, hey, hey. But uh, other than that, we had a great time together. But anyway, fellas, let's get right into it. So, you know, on Fun Fridays, what we're all about, we're going to give you some tips, a health, wealth, self tip. As for you new listeners out there, the health tip is for mind and body, having stronger minds and bodies, rather. Wealth tip is, is being better stewards of our career and our finances. And our self-tip is how can we be stronger husbands and dads? And if we can get all this stuff with the, with the lens of spiritual you know, guidance around it, being that spiritual leader, oh, man, it's going to do so much for us. So let's get right into it. So for that health tip, I had to just go back and rehash the C, the C tip that Chris brought up, Christopher brought up, rather. Secure, examine, expose, and decide. And let's just, re, let's just kind of recap that real, really quickly. That's secure. We need to capture those thoughts, those actions, the, the, the things that are running through our mind, those negative thoughts where you hear that I'm no good. I can't do this. You know, I'll never, 
all, when you start hearing sentences in, in your mind, those thoughts start that way in that negative uh, of t- undertone, you got to stop it. You got to capture it. Now, like I told him, John Deloney told me, he said, nope, not today. He'll literally say that out loud. Loud, whatever you have to do, stop that train, drop, stop that train of consciousness thought, stop it right there and hold it. Okay, here it is. Maybe you need to write it down, secure it. Then I want you to examine it and not examine it with your eyes. Ask the Holy Spirit to show me the truth. Show me. What do you want to reveal to me with this thought of I'm no good at this? Show me what you want me to see. Through the spirit, through, through the lens of the Holy Spirit, and this, this guys, this is a big deal. This is a big deal. You can't just fly by this. And as you examine it, then you start to expose it. And what did Christopher say? Expose it to you. Expose it to the truth. And I don't know if you listen to him as he as he was speaking, just verse after verse after verse after verse. You expose it to the truth by digging into God's Word. Okay, how can this this thought I'm having about myself? The Holy Spirit's discerning this for me. What does God's word say? That's what you start exposing it to the truth. And then you got to take action. Just like when you became a Christian, you can hear all the stuff, sing all the songs, do all the, you know, read your Bible, all this, all the things. But until you choose to surrender your life to the Lordship of Christ, you're just playing Christian, man. You're not truly doing it. So you have to act. And that's what Christopher's telling us right here. You got to put something in, in place when you make that decision that you know what that tr- that thought is not true. The Holy Spirit has validate that, validate that, validated that through His Word. And here's what I'm going to do to remember it, or to put this in action, because that does not define me. That action is so important. Don't fly by that, guys. Don't fly by it. All right. So there's your tip: seed, secure, examine, expose, decide. Boom. It's in, it's in one of the chapters in Christopher's book. If you want more, go check out the show notes. We'll get you hooked up with the book of the week, okay? Now, the wealth tip. I want to just talk this week. Again, we've, been, we've been going through a lot of this one-on-one stuff from a wealth standpoint. And we're going to talk about mutual funds today. Mutual funds. And basically what they are, they let you pull your money with other investors so that you can, quote-unquote, mutually buy stocks, bonds, or other investments. That's all it is. They're run by professional money managers who decide – which securities to buy. So they're making the decisions on, yep, I want this company, company B, company C, and how much. And they also make the decision, okay, when we'll sell these guys, when I want to get them out of the portfolio. So you get exposure with a, with a mutual fund to a lots of different investments. There's lots of different investments are fund the fund, if you will, if you will. And the income they generate that benefits you. There are some disadvantages. Because mutual funds can usually have some pretty high fees. It's not very tax efficient. Uh, the trade execution can be difficult. And, and sometimes you just got to watch who is managing the funds because there's potential for abusing the, the different types of things that are going on in the funds. Now, they're great for the everyday investor. They are good options. So I just want you to have some exposure to this, right? But just, just, it's the word itself, mutually funded, tells you that you are throwing in your money, you're pooling your money together to buy this collective basket of stocks. That's what it is. It's just mutually funded, okay? So again, not a bad investment um, avenue for sure, but make sure you understand who's managing the mutual funds. The performance of it over the over over the history, with this, you know, not projections, but over, historically how has the fund um, performed? Because there's different types. There's different types of funds with different types of stocks and bonds or whatever you have the resources that are going to be going in it. And you need to know this. And if you're a Christian, you want to walk this out. You may want to make sure you understand the types of companies that are in the mutual funds. Okay, so I'm not going to take this any further than that. But just understand when you're buying into a fund, you're buying into multiple businesses which in an essence means you're supporting multiple, multiple businesses. And you just want to make sure you're making the right decisions of what God is, how he's trying to direct you. Okay. Now your self tip, what do you think about this? Children heal differently. Okay. They need, they heal differently. So we need to recognize that sometimes we may have to get them outside support and how we heal. is not universally true for our, for our kids. So you're going to have to get some resources. 
And these resources are going to be have to be people that you trust, resources that you know, to help navigate these areas for your kids. Because you can't just dismiss their pain. Because it can be detrimental to them, to their well-being, to how they grow up, to how they can handle stuff in the future. But what Christopher and I talked about so much was just processing grief and dealing with it. We can't just leave this stuff and just and expect it to go away. No, you have to hit it head on. You have to address it. And that means having hard conversations. That means, that means uh, getting things out and exposing it to the light and having the ability for people to really help process and think through how you can move past that, that whole process of grief in your life. And again, this can be difficult. So I'm not saying every guy, all of us out here are qualified at this. No, we're not. Quite frankly, when we, when we went through losing our child, we had to get some help with processing for our daughters. I went, when I went through a divorce, I had to go through some help for my daughters to be able to process that loss, that grief. And I couldn't have done it without them. So, I mean, if this is, don't feel like this is an area of weakness if you have to reach out for help. The biggest thing you need to recognize is as the leader, as the Christian man, as the head of your home, you need to just be aware, be attuned. Because they may be grieving, and you want to help them with that process any way possible. Okay? So there are your three tips, guys. Your health well set. Again, that health is the seed. S-E-E-D. Secure, examine, expose, decide. That well tip. Mutual funds one-on-one, baby. You just need to know about the mutual funds. And that self tip. Children heal differently. We need to recognize that. Now, the book of the week this week, we've been talking about this thing all week, guys, but this right here, Healing What You Can't Erase, Transform Your Mental, Emotional, and Spiritual Health from the Inside Out. The four is written by Dr. John Deloney. He's been on the show before, too. Awesome guy. Tons of fun. Just one of the, the, the funnest guys I ever got to interview, actually. He's just, just a, lots of energy. And Christopher, he just absolutely brought it. He brought his A game for sure. So it's a, it's a, it's a heavy read in ways because the story is difficult. You know, he lost his mom. He went through some some significant health challenges. But he gives you some really good insights on how you can take that hurt, the the the, the scars we have in life, the pain, and how we we don't need to erase this stuff. But we, you can heal. You can heal through the power of transformation. So that's what it's all about, fellas. So hopefully you get a chance to pick that one up. Hit me up if you guys have any questions on, on how to get the book. Again, go to the lionwithin.us slash book, and you can see all the books each and every week at this point. That, that web page is pretty long because we're constantly dropping books every week on there that hey, I've read, see a lot of value in. Most of the, a lot, well, not most, a lot of the authors have been on the show. So check it out. It's good resources for you guys, okay? Now let's get to the fun stuff here, too, for our dad jokes. We've got two dad jokes this week. Dad joke number one, what do priests say to get rid of insects in church? Let us spray. <laughs> so there you go, fellas. What do priests say to get rid of insects in church? Let us spray. Number two, what happens when frogs park illegally? They get towed. Come on, man. You know they get towed if they park illegally. Jeez Louise. So number one, what do priests say when they get rid of insects in church? Let us spray. Number two, what happens when fro- frogs park illegally? They get towed. T-O-A-D. There you go, fellas. So let me know which one lands best. Remember, eye rolls totally count when it comes to dad jokes that line within us. And if you have a dad joke, you're like, Chris, this dad joke will be the bomb, but you should use this one. Support at the line within that US. Those come in. We use it on the show. We'll give you a shout out. How about that? I'll give you some encouragement. And you never know. Your dad joke may just be the one. The dad joke of all dad jokes. So I didn't need to know what it is. So send it to us, okay? So the question of the week this week, fellas, we always talk about a question every week is how do you overcome a crushed spirit? And maybe you're dealing with some stuff right now. And you've gone through it. I just wanted to just to remind you, you can't do it, you can't do this alone. You can't do it alone. Start start there. And you definitely can't do this without Christ. Can't do it. Impossible. So, fellas, if you have that crushed spirit where it's infect it's affecting every aspect of your life, whether it's you're at home, by yourself, at work, at the gym, it doesn't matter. You're just feeling defeated in all those places. That's a sign. That's a sign. And you, you need to lean in. You gotta do something about this, guys. Reach out to the line within us. Reach out to us. We're, this is why we're here to help, to encourage you, to give you wisdom, to give you uh, resources to overcome. Because I know 
life is hard. It is hard. I know one thing. Together, with a with a brotherhood of like minded believers, man, we can do some incredible stuff. That's what it's all about. Okay, all right, fellas. Again, thank you so much for listening. Come back next week. We've got a lot of good episodes for you. Prayerfully, good Lord willing, and uh, give us a rating and review. That would be huge. Head over to the Lion Within US, guys. You see, I'm wearing this Lion Within us hat. We have Lion Within us shirts and swag and stuff like that. Maybe you want to just support the ministry and donate. All that stuff is right there on the line within us. We have our big mission trip coming up in September. Guys, that is going to be a big deal. So we, we, we need support. We need men, first and foremost, that are willing to go to Tennessee and put in the work. And we need some donors. We need some donors to step up and, and help us fund this trip. Really want to do all we can to, again, all the proceeds go straight to the mission. So let's just be real. Mission work, it's not free. So we need some donors. We need some support. And if you feel led there, that would be tremendous. That would be wonderful because this is not cheap to go out and do this type of work. But, but you know what? It's important. And we, we're partnering with Praying Pelican. These guys are phenomenal. Absolutely love Lonnie and the team over there. So go again. Check us out. All that information can be found at thelionwithin.us. So that's thelionwithin.us. There's our resources. And then the U version. Use the Bible app. If you're using the Bible app, which what like half a million people in the U.S. are or something like that, it's crazy. Check out the line within us. We have tons, I think over 20 now, devotionals out there on the Bible app. All free. Go check them out. And if you like one of them, give us a rating and share it with someone else. This could be great resources for you and your men's groups to start utilizing and go through together, okay? All right, guys, we get after it. Have a great one. Thank you so much, so much, so much, so much. For listening, cannot emphasize that enough. It just blows me away. So I'm just honored to be here, honored that you're listening, praying that this this content serves you, encourages you, lifts you up, and ultimately helps you be the leader God intends you to be. That's what it's all about. All right, so get after it. Have a good one. And keep unleashing the lion within. If you're a man who's looking for greater spiritual guidance into how to become a better leader, Finding resources that you can trust and then implement can be daunting. For me personally, I thought it was a lost cause, and I decided to take the action knowing that I wasn't alone. It was because of this wide gap that we created our Lion Within Us community, and the areas that we were helping Christian men grow are incredible. For instance, we built ways for guys to lean in and grow through fun events like our daily spiritual kickoff, where you get that much-needed boost directly from God's Word. Our Bible studies that always focus on how to discern and apply what we learn. And even our amazing form where you can speak your mind without fear of getting shut down or judged by the extreme rules of modern day social media. On top of all that, we know that many men want help overcoming issues and becoming stronger in many different areas. That's why we created several mastermind groups where the iron truly sharpens the iron. Our community is about having a growth mindset accountability, intentionality, and transparency. In other words, just leave fake you at home and come to community just as you are. I fully believe in what we built. I see the impact it's making on men right now, and I would love to have you check it out. So start your very own 30-day free trial today to see how we can help you be a better leader. So if you're ready to take that first step, head over to thelionwithin.us and get started. Your journey begins here Visit the line with and I'll see you inside the den. We're thrilled to announce that we now have seven powerful devotionals available on YouVersion's Bible app. For those not in the know, YouVersion is the top Bible app in the world, and we're honored to be on this incredible platform. Our devotionals dive deep into the pillars that define the lion within us, health, wealth, and self. So whether you're seeking spiritual growth, financial wisdom, or personal development, these devotionals are tailor-made for you. So ready to embark on this transformative journey and unleash the line within you? Head over to the lionwithin.us slash uversion to access our devotions on the uversion app. Join thousands of like-minded individuals and dive into the word with us. That's the lionwithin.us slash uversion. That's Y-O-U-V-E-R-S-I-O-N. And let's grow together and become the leaders God intends us to be.